Here are three generators that I collected from the flea market. Uh, radios are beginning to get harder to find, but uh, antique uh, equipment is even harder to find. So whenever it's available, I try and uh, pick them up if I can. This is a Heath kit, and it looks like it's in good shape, but uh, we'll know better when we get around to opening it up. It is a model LG-1, and something you need to keep in mind when you find a Heath kit is you don't know who built it. Now this next generator, I was amazed to find. It's a Philco, and I'd never thought about Philco making test equipment, but obviously they had to have, but I've never seen any before, and I was just very happy to find this one. And I looked over it, and I haven't been able to find a model number for it. But it's going to be real interesting to open this one up, too, and hopefully I can get it working. This would be uh, a real nice piece of antique test gear to have working. This generator, I just got this past weekend at the flea market, and it is an ICO model 368 and it looks like a pretty nice one and again looks like all the knobs and everything's there doesn't appear like anything's missing and when I opened it up I uh, was surprised at what I saw on the inside and the quality of the equipment. Here's a back view of this unit. And this is what it looks like underneath. I haven't done anything to it yet other than just open it up and take a few pictures. I'll be testing the tubes and checking out the power transformer first and then we'll see what happens from there. I hope all these generators can be repaired and of course the Philco. I hope that can be made working again. I'm pretty sure that this is the earliest generator that I have.